Alrighty guys, it's Pit Bike Mike here. Kind of a colder day. It's about 42 degrees. But got a GoPro mount for the helmet and a fancy in helmet mic. So I can actually try to put together this riding video for you if it every if everything turns out well. So uh yeah, because obviously just riding around with the the GoPro wind noise is pretty outrageous to put it mildly to where you can't hear anything can't hear the bike can't even hear me so I'm gonna get this thing started up hopefully get some road exhaust noises with my uh nora fume exhaust so let's get it started up Not the best parking lot in the world, but do a do a couple little uh, figure eights just to get the tires warmed up, get the bike warmed up a little bit. Get a feel for how she's feeling this morning. Alright, so, I guess this will be kind of like a, almost a first moto vlog for me, I guess. Since now I actually have a helmet and a fancy mic to do this. So, I had this bike for a couple months so far. Put about 681 miles on it. It's been a pretty fun bike. I'm getting decent gas mileage. I've ridden two up on it, which, even though it's a 230, it is technically capable of doing two up uh, and even while doing two up I've still gotten about 69 miles to the gallon which has been pretty cool <clears throat> can't complain about that and for the past about 150 160 ish miles I've had this Nore Fume exhaust one and gotta say I like it it's a little loud it's got some pops, which hopefully you'll be able to hear in the video, but it, it's pretty good exhaust. The one thing I will say, doing an oil change on this bike, I don't understand why Kawasaki made it so difficult, but it is doable. Alright, so the problem is, oh, that's a great place to dump. I guess Christmas trees. So, going on with what I was talking about, the um, oil changes, kind of a pain in the ass on this bike, because it has a cartridge style filter, so it, um, there's like this little spring inside of the engine block that isn't attached, it just, it has like this little uh, piece to where it sits inside of, but there's nothing to actually hold it in place. So the problem is, is that the spring won't stay put while you're trying to, you know, reassemble the filter assembly. So what I ended up having to do was lean the bike like super far over. Like I had to take it off the kickstand and I put it up on a, um, a floor jack underneath of the kickstand base so I could lean the bike kind of far over. Put a pretty small bit of um like automotive grease on the back of the spring so i could uh get it to be tacky enough to stick just long enough for me to get the filter put back in place eh, kind of a pain in the ass but it is definitely 
doable. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, besides that, had the bike, like I said, for a little while. Hasn't been bad. Uh, it's definitely not going to win any type of races, but it, it's still a pretty fun little bike to tool around on. And, you know, get you back and forth to work and all that good shit. Uh, like I said previously in one of my videos, the brake line right here definitely kind of gets in the way. Sometimes with my seating position. But, uh, besides that, eh, can't complain. You know, at that point just start nitpicking about the bike. But mostly, point of the day's video just to get a little bit of exhaust clips on the road, a little riding around. Yeah, and also just to kind of test out the mic to make sure that it's gonna do everything I need it to for my uh, for my purposes without doing too much. Um, what do you call it? Uh, adjustments mm -mm -mm. yeah so like I said this is gonna be my first attempt at a moto vlog so not really sure on on kind of what to talk about Besides just driving through historic areas, making a lot of noise with a lot of pops, annoying the masses as I go because why not, right? That's the point of a supermoto. Eh, actually now, but. I guess the type of people like me that buy them make a whole bunch of noise, probably piss a lot of people off, but hey. definitely admit I can't wait till spring summertime when it's nice you know 50 well actually let's be honest 60 70 ish degrees where I can ride actually like a little bit more breathable gear and actually be in outside and enjoy doing longer rides besides the small things I've been doing And then hopefully this year, planning on trying to get down to the tail of the dragon with this bike, which would be pretty badass, honestly. Because I've never been able to do the tail of the dragon on a motorcycle yet. I've done it with my Miata that I've had, a Mini Cooper. Hell, I've even done it with a Crown Vic. But that will be determined also a little bit that I got planned for the year is getting my pit bike uh, stickered up and get a uh, what do you call it get one of those spark arresters in there so I can um, take it out to like one of those uh, public lands so I can do some trail riding with it you know hopefully uh, get some good videos and probably whatnot of doing some small trail rides but, uh, 
Who knows? I love this bike. This is literally where this thing excels at, is back to little windy roads to where you can just kind of throw it in. And since, you know, it doesn't have all the power in the world, you don't gotta worry too much about fucking up and, you know, breaking the rear end loose because you give it too much power into a corner, which... That is the one big joy about small bikes that sometimes people just overlook because I'll admit I've had a faster bike I've had a GSXS 750 which honestly amazing bike lots of power comfortable fun to ride but there's just something about just winding out a little single cylinder like this through some back roads and just getting at it Listen to that thing purr. I need to get some winter style gloves for when I do colder weather riding like this because to give you a little bit of backstory on me I was a hardcore motorcycle rider a couple years back I um, got into a bad accident back in 2019 and um, for the most part I've just kind of taken a break from bikes but uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever you want to call it, bikes have always been my passion. They've always... Nothing quite compares to riding a bike. So this is the first bike that I've gotten since my accident, and um, this is a good little practice bike, honestly. It's it's not too powerful to where it's gonna, you know, outright kill me, but it's at least... What, what would you say? Uh, it, it's good enough and forgiving enough with its power delivery so I can actually enjoy it and, you know, just get back into the hang of things. But, uh, yeah. this thing's so much fun but like I said there's always gonna be people that don't really enjoy or can't find the joy in a low horsepower bike you know and I get it you know I I ain't gonna you know throw shade at people like that cuz you know it's different strokes for different folks you know but for me I just I just love being able to fuck around be able to wind out through all the gears and shit without excessively going over the speed limit.
Wee, wee, wee. Like that old commercial with the with the little pigs. I can't remember. I think it was an insurance commercial or something where he was holding like the little uh, little pinwheel out the window. You know, yeah. Shit like that's what runs through my head most of the time. Uh, here we go again, disturbing the peace. Another small thing, I'll throw in about this bike. You know, just while I'm sitting at the light. <laughs> Finding neutral for some reason in this bike is not as easy as I've had with other bikes. Like um, my CRF 250L Dual Sport. Never had a problem getting into neutral. The Suzuki, no problem whatsoever. But this one, like, for some reason, once in a while, I seem to have a little bit of an issue. Don't know why, but small quirk about the motor or transmission but what's whatever gets the job done now all right nope don't have a green light yet Whew. oh there we go all right time to make some noise Also, you know, thinking about it, I need to put together a video for you guys because I actually have a little Suzuki Carry mini truck. I made a video on it a while back. I never posted it because it just never, I don't know, it just never really felt complete to me. So, I don't know if that was because I just... You know, this was before I even made any of the other videos that I've posted on the channel so far. So, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll give it a go. You know, I'll work on when it's a little bit nicer out. Putting together a little video for it, but, um, that will be in the... Maybe not so near future, maybe a couple weeks, month or so. I think I'm gonna call it uh, for my first moto vlog video so um, like I said if this turns out well you'll be seeing it on the YouTube um, based off the audio off of this mic that I have um, if not then eh, eh, well I guess I got to get cold fingers and slightly enjoy the ride so it is life it is life but, alrighty guys, well, let me, oh, Mary Mulch drop off, oh, that's why people were dropping off stuff there, ah, I guess I should pay attention to such signs a little bit more, eh, well, here, you know what, before I go, I'm gonna do a couple more little, little Yui's like this, just to show off, getting that nice, tight lean in, yeah, get it nice and tight. Lean with it, rock with it, yeah. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing, guys, doesn't it? Ha ha ha. 
But, you know, honestly, to be real with you guys, this is excellent practice. It really is. Just to take whatever bike you got and do figure eight so you can kind of kind of feel what your maneuverability is like on the bike, how slow and whatnot you can, you know, do shit like this with. Because it's always good to be familiar with your bike and the capabilities. But... Alright, like I said, I'm going to call it there, Pet Bike Mike here, uh, hope you like, uh, I will hit you all up later.